Hello, everyone. You're listening to Peoria Business Champs, a podcast for entrepreneurs and business owners throughout the local area. Today's episode is brought to you by Foxy Online Marketing. Foxy Online Marketing creates websites, social media marketing, SEO, and more to help small and medium businesses stand out from the crowd. I am your host, Jennifer Kululi. Here with me today is Miss Jessica from the Better Business Bureau. Jessica, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Um, I would just like to start with the first minute or so, uh, just giving you the floor to just tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do at the BBB. Um, my family and I live in Metamora. My husband and I have five children, and we've been married 19 years. I started at the Better Business Bureau in 2003 as a part-time receptionist, and today I am the CEO. Wow. Well, <laughs> um, you guys used to be um, in the building on West Lake. Yeah. Um, we were in the uh, bottom uh floor there yeah mm -hmm. that was a little bit before my time but I heard many of stories about the BBB on West Lake and then after that they moved down on Washington Street in Peoria and that's where I started and then we moved around the corner to Harrison Street and then in 2016 we bought our own building so um, as far as being a member of the BBB goes what is the biggest benefits for a local business there are lots of benefits. The primary reason most businesses want to become accredited with the Better Business Bureau is to set themselves apart from their competition uh, or as a business in their community. And they set themselves apart by committing to our standards of trust. So, you know, every business says that they're the best mm -hmm. or that they can do something better than their competitor. We're customer driven. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. And um, they can do that by really measuring themselves with our standards of trust that include things like um, being transparent being honest, honoring your promises, you know, embodying integrity. And what that means exactly is they subject themselves to a review by the Better Business Bureau to say, hey, take a look at our business, take a look at our past, take a look at our ownership and our, and our management team. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you guys look and see if there's anything that would cause a customer to lose trust in our business. And so we do that. And then we continue to do that. It's not just a once and done thing. Um, and then the biggest part too, is we offer a lot of support for local businesses in many areas. A lot of most commonly known, you know, anytime there's an issue with a customer, you know, they can come to BBB and it, we're not a consumer bulldog mm -hmm. or a watchdog or anything like that. What we are is a, um, a mediator. Mm -hmm. So we hear both sides of the situation of the dispute, and then we can effectively communicate with two parties that are both unhappy with the situation. Mm -hmm. and One resolution. To, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and get them to move forward to resolution. And we are about that resolution and not retribution, which as, as you know in your industry, you know, mm -hmm. there's been a huge shift over the last 10 years or so of how consumers behave, you know, mm -hmm. online, mm -hmm. particularly with when they're unhappy with the situation. And it's more about retribution. They're more about punishing, you know, the reputation of the business. And so we really advocate for people to first come to us, mm -hmm. let us help you get the resolution, which mm -hmm. is more effective than just blasting them for that. More healthier, know, yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple minutes that you're upset and then you've moved on. Well, that mm -hmm. leaves a lot of damage for that business to deal with going forward. Um, so, and the other thing, you know, with that particular situation is, is we also, when you go to BBB.org and you look at a, any company's profile and say they do have a complaint, it's not a complaint that's really important. It's about what the company did. Exactly. You know, a lot of times, yeah. you know, maybe you weren't dealing with the right person at the company and, and we, we know who the contact is or, uh, you know, like I said, we were a little bit more effective in our communication skills to get that resolution so more importantly than a complaint is is that outcome and that's what where people really build trust because mm -hmm. you know it's not uncommon for something to happen you know something to go awry in a, in a yeah, transaction it's gonna happen. and and that's okay mm -hmm. it's it's what does the company do when that happens yeah that's very well put i think a lot of businesses are scared um to have google reviews bbb reviews or even you know other uh facebook reviews because they think that it's like just the end when actually it's just an opportunity to show people, hey, something went wrong. How are we going to handle it? And for me as a consumer, you know, if I'm reading reviews, 
you can kind of judge if the person was just Sassy. on one that day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but more importantly, what I pay attention to is how did the owners respond? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We offer a lot of advice in that arena, too. And, and what's unique about the Better Business Bureau in terms of customer reviews is, is when we receive a review, we do several things to make sure that it's from a customer, someone mm-hmm. who actually had an interaction with that business. It's not a disgruntled employee. It's not a competitor. It's not a, It's not an employee of the yeah. business trying to stuff the ballot box per se. Right. So, assuming you know we can make sure that it, this is a this is a real customer, the first thing we do is send it to the business. So we let them see it. And they have 72 hours to respond to it before it's posted on our website so that when the consumer sees a review, they can see both sides, Mm -hmm. you know, even if it's a positive interaction, Mm -hmm. because that's valuable to the customer reading it, too, is to see that the customer appreciated Mm -hmm. that they got a review from that person. And so that's valuable, too. Um, But we do a lot of coaching, too, for a business because, you know myself included leading this organization and and any business owner they wear their heart on their sleeve for that business and so when you get something negative about your business it can feel like a personal attack yeah Mm -hmm. so emotions can get really in the way Mm -hmm. of your response so we really you know we work as a sounding board a lot of times where businesses can you know just kind of vent to us you wouldn't believe what they did and this not how it went and and let it all out (laughs) let it all out and we will guide you to a professional response because to your point of when you're reading how the business handled it. I always give the analogy of um, being in a store and you see a toddler like throwing a major fit, throwing themselves on the floor, I want that candy, or whatever it is, like totally having a fit. You're really not watching the kid. You're looking at the mom. Yeah. Yeah. How is she handling this? God bless this? her. Yeah. <laughs> How is she handling? You know, we've been, we've been in that situation, yeah. and you know, you feel those eyes on you. Yeah. But it's similar. Yeah. You know, you're really looking at the business like, oh, my gosh, what, did, how, what are you going to do about this? Mm-hmm. You know, are you cool and collected, or are you throwing a bit, too, and, and mm-hmm. acting just as crazy as, as that person? So it, that is really important to the reader. You know, how does the situation pan out in the end? Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I've had to pick up a baby a time or two and take <laughs> them out. Them out. <laughs> We're going to the car. My, there's a meme of uh, the mom, the the kid laying on the sidewalk throwing a fit, and the mom just drinking her coffee like. <laughs> I'm cool with it. By yeah. baby three, four. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. We're just gonna roll with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so you also said that the BBB helps like with networking and uh, so we do we do so you know when you are a business that wants to set yourself apart you know um, you want to be surrounded by like-minded businesses too and and you can learn a lot from each other in that way of of you know we both know we we want to have a really solid business based on trust and integrity and so with that as the focus of our our business you know what else can we learn from each other what's working what's not working and and so much has shifted Mm -hmm. um, and it continues to shift so it's important to have those kind of resources and we want to celebrate those businesses so our main networking event is our annual torch award for business integrity which Mm -hmm. uh, you so graciously serve as a judge for us it's my favorite (laughs) it's very (laughs) difficult to take a look at these businesses that are all really outstanding and then and then choose a winner but so we do that in an effort to celebrate these businesses that really do go above and beyond they walk the walk and um, they're really not tooting their own horn. So we want to make sure that they get that recognition of, um, you know, this is really important to our community that you are running your business this way. Mm-hmm. And we all benefit from it. And, uh, you know, get them all in a room together and just have a, a have night of fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, through a rainstorm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. The award that um, you talked about, a former um, member or colleague who worked at a printing company that you named the uh, a certain yeah, award Jeff Bell, yeah the Jeff Bell customer service award so um, when I, I you know when I first came to to BBB we would order letterhead I don't know if you mm-hmm. worked at that time too but you would order your letterhead and you ordered your envelopes with your logo on them and we did that through a local accredited business and it was Coleman printing and uh, there was a man Jeff Bell who went by the name Bubba everybody knew him as Bubba and um, he was such a an example of outstanding customer service because as a small business inevitably we are not paying attention to how much letterhead we had no. we were doing the thing put fires out yeah <laughs> yeah mm. and so i i'd call oh my gosh bubba i am 
I have like three sheets of paper left. He's like, it's okay. I already had some printed. I'm on my way. (laughs) And it was just like, oh, my God. You know, and not everybody operates like that. You know, some businesses will be like, well, there's a rush charge and there's an emergency printing charge and, you know, all of that, you know, take advantage of that. But but Bubba was just so the opposite. He really cared about all of his customers and knew what you needed before you needed it. And so um, sadly, he passed away. He uh, had cancer and and passed very quickly. Mm. But we wanted to honor him um, because he was truly one of a kind. And uh, so we celebrate his memory by honoring people like that in our accredited businesses throughout central Illinois that really just are incredible people for these businesses and and make things run so smoothly for their customer. And uh, so accredited businesses can nominate one of their employees for this award. Mm -hmm. And we recognize all of them because they're all amazing individuals. To be nominated, yeah. Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah. And especially today, you know, I think... I truly believe that there's been such a huge shift, you know, and more businesses are afraid to do something above and beyond than what they used to be. So, Mm -hmm. um, you know, to really encourage that and and honor those people that care, (laughs) you know, we have that award and and we recognize those individuals. What I like about the Torch Awards, it's not like the company with the most money or the da-da-da. I mean, underdogs have just as much of a chance to win. I mean, you guys really recognize the true grit and characteristics of a business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, we do that because we separate them by size because we recognize the business with over 150 employees probably has a whole marketing team that's you know, capable of, of doing a lot more than the the business with just one employee. And they got a whole different set of problems and <laughs> issues. Yeah. 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 So we do try to break it down by size um, just to, you know, make sure that they're all kind of like in some way. So you've been with the BBB how many years? This will be my 20th year. So what would you say out of all the businesses that you've worked with, what would you say attributes uh, a business to being successful um, and staying around for such a long time and being successful. Yeah, like you, I've had the opportunity of talking to a lot of different businesses over my time. And um, I've talked to a lot of businesses that don't have that um, secret sauce, I'll mm-hmm. say, mm-hmm. Of, of getting it right. And, and it comes down to um, the individual. It comes down to leadership, really. It comes down to... Um, the DNA of the the decision maker essentially and it and it truly is a foundation of trust and that trickles down into so many things but um, you know recently you know I'd say within the last year there was one particular business that came into the office that had a, a terrible rating that had several unanswered complaints a pattern of complaints of not finishing the, same the issue. job mm-hmm. and um, and just not being truthful about situations and and the owner said to me well I don't I don't get it how how do how come I can't have an A rating and how come I don't have positive reviews (laughs) and to me it's just so obvious it's so obvious because there's that kind of business that they're up at night thinking okay I really need two thousand dollars tomorrow how am I going to get that money tomorrow Mm -hmm. versus the business owner that's like am I doing enough Am I doing enough to serve my community? Am I doing enough for my employees? Do I need to give more training? Are they happy? Do they need development? Do they know how much I gotta how call proud back I am? So and so and yeah, yeah, yeah. And is this product the best one? You know, and are we on time? You know, the just the DNA of how they think about their business is is the difference. And it's it's the businesses that are totally honest and transparent and focus on the integrity of themselves and walking the walk so they set the example for their team yeah you can't just throw money at it yeah you can't yeah you can't and like you said earlier there are there are businesses that are super small that are really uh that have grit and and grind every single day and they go out and and the only thing they care about is doing the right thing Mm -hmm. and that a lot of times will it's expensive, you know, when the customer's not happy, uh, you know, we're going to tear that out and redo it. Yeah. That costs money. And mm-hmm. they're willing to do that because their name and integrity is on the line. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Those are the businesses that will be around for, for a long time. Yep. Yeah. If you do the right thing and you're 
mm, focus on customer satisfaction, I feel like the money will follow, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, kind of branching that out to not just customer satisfaction, but, uh, you know, a lot of the interviews we did this year with, with Torch Award nominees, you know, they're really focused on uh, their employees as well. You know, are we doing enough to keep them happy? And, at, at, you know, that same kind of concept, if the employee's happy at their job, you know, the business is going to come because that's going to come out in everything that they do. Yeah, which, like you said, comes from the leader, the culture. Yeah, yeah. it all comes from them. How do you um, make sure that your office has the right culture or vibe, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's an on, it's an ongoing process, you know, and it's not a once and done thing. And so it's trying to find what situation works best for that employee as far as a schedule goes or a location goes, um, making sure that they know how they fit into the big picture. You know, um, I have a pretty small staff, especially compared to other better business bureaus in North America, and we do the same amount of work and do Weren't it better. Weren't you guys ranked like number <laughs> one in the, was it country? recently yeah we we compete with the big boys you know and there's a lot that we do and because we're not siloed mm -hmm. we kind of see you know really quickly how the hip bones connected to the knee bone and, and can really overlap things really well so with that we're very busy and I need to remind myself all the time to make sure that they know their value that they know how that work ties into the overall success of the organization so they don't lose focus of why am I doing this all the time? Why mm -hmm. am I doing this? It's so important. Each job is so important. Mm -hmm. So what was your favorite job at the BBB since you've moved around a different yeah. posi positions? Um, I really like them all. I like helping consumers that call and need help. There's, there's a tremendous amount of value that I feel when I know that someone who's called our office and they were distressed and lost and after speaking to me, they feel more confident about what to do next and they trust the information that they received. So I really enjoy that. And I also enjoy talking to businesses about mm -hmm. how what we do will help them. And when they're like, wow, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I wanna do that. And so that's a big win for me too. That awesome. keeps the fire going. <laughs> Who would you say is your most influential mentor, whether professionally or personally? I would have to say uh, two and one. So uh, my mother-in-law, who was also a CEO at the Better Business oh, Bureau, wow. um, Bonnie Bacon, she uh, hired me first, and I learned an incredible amount of knowledge, both professionally and personally, mm -hmm. from her. Um, how to treat people, how to, um, you know, as a woman, stand up straight and be strong and mm -hmm. don't take any crap just because you're a woman, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and, yeah. Um, yeah, she, she, I, every, she passed away a couple years ago and I, there, I think about her every single day and, and fortunately I have enough of her in my head that I still hear her talking to me. You know, I can imagine what she would say in certain situations and sometimes I'll laugh like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. That's totally what I should have said. But yeah, absolutely. Um, she had a big influence on me. How long was she the um, CEO? She was C she became CEO in 1995. Okay. And uh, she trans was starting to transition toward retirement in 2018, which is when I became CEO. But she still worked there um, as a as a mentor, and she did an advertising review for us, and still helped consumers on the phone. Um, just a, a wealth of knowledge and experience, you know, and um, such a, a valuable voice to have. And then your father became the president, right, or the CEO? No, nope. where I, did I get that from? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I made it up. <laughs> uh, you made it up. That's okay. We can plot twist. Um, so I became CEO in 2018, and um, my dad helped me get the job. Okay. So when I graduated high school, he was uh, he works at Heart Technologies. He still does, and okay. he was at the BBB office working on their phone system, and uh, had heard that they were hiring a part time position for the nice. summer. Nice. Nice little plug. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see here. What's the biggest challenge you had to overcome in your career? I, I'd say I'm still tackling it, honestly. Uh, the biggest challenge is knowing that you're never done. Mm -hmm. You're never there. You're never done growing as a leader. You're never done learning as a leader. Um, it will always be shifting. 
you know? Mm -hmm. And um, I guess when I was young, I thought, oh, well, when you became the boss, you're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Sit back and relax. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, no, that is so not the case. Um, But yeah, my my biggest challenge is is continuing to evolve and, and figure out what is the next piece to my puzzle that I need to be better um, a better CEO for the organization, a better leader for the staff, a better wife, a better mother, all of the things, you know, mm-hmm. and just keep evolving. Mm-hmm. I like that. Uh, anything that we didn't mention that you want to talk about? We do all kinds of things, you know. I always tell people, if you don't know who to call, just call BBB. You know, we can at least give you who you should call. Mm-hmm. Um we answer the phone. <laughs> we are right. local. We serve 36 counties. So, um, and there's a BBB somewhere throughout North America. So, uh, we have colleagues all over the place that can help with whatever you got going on, no matter what business you're working with. I would say the biggest benefit to being um, a BBB member is when people are deciding whether to do business with you or not. They're going to look you up online. Mm-hmm. You know, um, a lot of um, the BBB profiles come up in Google search when you're Googling a company, but also people will go to the BBB site and search your, your company name. You don't have to necessarily pay to be accredited to have a profile Correct. on there, but um, just going back to like that transparency and everything that you mm-hmm. said, I think that really uh, makes or breaks a, a customer um, when they're deciding to do business with someone or not so i would i would definitely suggest anyone um looking to grow you know that trust between them and their customer or just you know expanding their business to definitely uh talk to you guys about becoming a member because i think it goes a long way Mm -hmm. absolutely Mm -hmm. absolutely you're right and people trust the information they find on bbb.org it's a reliable source even google Mm -hmm. considers us a a trusted resource for information because we do so much work to make sure that it's accurate and and check with the business to make sure that it's accurate Um, but yeah it's it's a and you cannot pay to get an a no no (laughs) nothing to do with the other yeah um a lot of some confusion there but i know ratings are based on several factors of the individual business Mm -hmm. things like how many complaints and how the company responded to them, how quickly they responded to them, that kind of thing. Um, If they don't have the appropriate license needed for their industry, that could impact the rating. Um, If there's a government action, you know, things like that go into the rating and, and, um, but you guys are really a resource for small and medium businesses. Absolutely. Um, you know, especially for someone new, if you're thinking about, okay, uh, I got, I have this idea for a marketing campaign or a a special that I want to offer my customer. It doesn't hurt to call us and say, this is what I'm thinking about. What are your thoughts? Because there are a lot of times that we can offer you advice that will protect you. You know, there, there's, you know, asterisks and fine print and you want to make sure your wording's correct so that you don't get taken advantage of as a business. Mm -hmm. You know, when your intent is to have a promotion, you know, that kind of thing. You you don't want to lose money on it. Mm-hmm. Um, so just having another set of eyes on it where we specialize in advertising review and, and can tell you, okay, this layout is a little misleading or you might want to consider this or, or this doesn't might quite make sense or make sure that you're disclosing this. Um, we do that for free and mm-hmm. it just makes sense for a business to call us and, and just see if there's anything we can help you with. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, I, th- I think that, for sure, you guys are a great resource and have everyone there um, is on the same accord. That's been my word today. <laughs> but I think that is because I've been talking to good businesses and good leaders, and I think that's a, a huge part of that. It takes a team, it really does, yeah. to carry out a vision and, you know, the culture and everything. So, yeah. um, so if someone is thinking of becoming a member, what should they do? Just You can go to bbb.org and, and apply. Apply online and we'll call you and, and talk about the standards and you can read them all on our website but we like to talk to you about it make sure you understand the commitment to, that we're asking of you <laughs> as a business to be accredited um, or you can call our office and we'll talk to you about it our number is 309-688-5124 okay well that wraps up this episode of peoria business champs a huge thank you to our guest jessica from the better business bureau 
Also, thank you to our listeners. If you haven't yet, please join our Facebook group, Peoria Business Champs, where you can see more behind the scenes of interviews, local events, tips, and more. You can also find us on YouTube. And thanks again, everyone. Have a good rest of your day.